Well, this has been one of the craziest experiences of my life. The, the whole hillside was on fire. We made it to this tiny town, Castellamare di Golfo, and this will be our home base for a few days while we explore all of the gorgeous beaches here. We just dropped our stuff off at our Airbnb, and we're gonna take advantage of the rest of the day and go get a few hours in at the beach. got up and quickly got dressed because we want to get out and take advantage of the day. We're gonna start with the thing that I've been looking forward to the most all year ever since we decided we would be coming back to Sicily and that is a Sicilian breakfast. This is literally my dream. Granita di mandorla. We have another granita. <laughs> We have a cannolo siciliano di pistacchio. We have a cornetto al cioccolato. And we have a cassatella riempita di ricotta. I'm in heaven. I am in heaven. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. This is one of the best things I've ever had. Ice cream for breakfast. Mm. Mm. This is the granita di mandorla. Almond granita. We've wrapped up breakfast and are headed to a local beach. This is called Cala Bianca and it's off of a dirt road. Definitely need a car to access this one, but oh my gosh, this is insanely beautiful. Are we kidding? Get the hell out of here. Yes, maybe I think you got the best part. The place is so beautiful to us to walk down. All right, we just made it back home. I just took a quick body shower because we don't have a ton of time we want to make it out into the city center by seven to see the carelli siciliani we are just absolutely loving it here the past two days have been so unexpectedly beautiful we knew we wanted to be in this part of sicily because this area is famous for its beaches it's known for having some of the best beaches in sicily but the towns that are really famous here, like Scopello and San Vito Lo Capo, are really pricey, especially in August. So we thought, let's look around and see what other options we have. 
we found this little town which is only a short drive away and we found a really great airbnb that was like a third of the price of some of the places we were looking at in uh, the more famous areas and completely unbeknownst to us this weekend that we arrived is this town castellamare del golfo it's their biggest weekend of the year and they have three consecutive days of celebrations processions and events and we just got so lucky that we picked this spot it's been so much fun and so special to see all of this traditional sicilian culture keeping it pretty casual since i didn't even have time to wash my hair so yeah just gonna keep it casual and then we're gonna head out to the festivities <laughs> This is called an ugo, which is made with shit. <laughs> made with uh, fiori di sambuco. Unpopular opinion, I think this is better than a spritz. Great idea. Che cazzo, che cazzo? Chi è quel genio che si è inventato l'aperitivo? Un italiano. Amazing. Questa è spero che guidia.
Well, this has been one of the craziest experiences of my life. Our last day in this area, we went back to Scopella Beach, the little cove that we love to enjoy a beach day. But today has been super windy. It's a wind called Shirocco. That's typical in Southern Italy. It comes from the African continent. It's very hot, very strong wind. And we tried to go to Reserva de lo Zingero and they closed the, the reserve because of the fire risk. So we were on the beach and we start smelling smoke in the air. We start seeing ash falling. We decided to leave because the air quality was getting pretty bad. And so we hiked back up to the road and the whole hillside was on fire like really up in flames and unfortunately the fire was between us and the parking lot where we left the car so we kind of didn't really know what to do ultimately Pietro went ran through the fire to go rescue our car so we could evacuate and get out of there I was freaking out but the road to go back to our town was closed because of a fire so we went up to scopello stopped at a little shop got a bottle of water because we were freaked out and then we were told there was another road that kind of went around the fire that could take us back to our town so we start down that road we see more spot fires breaking out on the hillside and there's this giant property that's catching fire and we kind of sat there for a little bit and we were wondering, you know, why aren't they like putting out the fires on their property? Like what's going on? So we said, let's go see if they need help. And oh my gosh, it was this poor family, like this, you know, kind of middle-aged couple with two young teen kids. And they were just by themselves, like with buckets and a hose trying to put out this fire. So we just stopped and so the past hour, hour and a half have been just putting out fires all across this property. Thank goodness us and other people stopped to help them because the fire department ever came. There was a helicopter that was dropping water on their property, but otherwise they were like completely on their own. Despite having experienced some of the most shocking, craziest moments during our time in Sicily, it remains etched in my heart as one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had. Each challenge we encountered tested our limits, but led us to the most kindest, most generous people. To the family who generously jumpstarted our car on the remote beach where our battery had died, to the guardian angel who guided us through a labyrinth of streets to recover our car after it was mysteriously towed, each of these moments were trying and humbling, but they were also a reminder to be present and to not take anything for granted. And ultimately they showed us the resilience and beauty of humanity. So let this be a reminder that not everything you see online is picture perfect and that happiness is what you make of it. Push yourself to think positively, to see the upside in any situation, no matter how difficult. Sicily taught us that even amidst chaos, beauty and kindness prevails. Thank you.